Hi everyone, my name is Rakesh and this is our Applied Cryptography Project 2. And for this project we have built a secure application through which you can uh, you can transfer a message to your to your friend, to your family or any third party. So when I say secure, why it is secure? Because we have ensured that all kinds of attack like data modification, data replay attack, uh, attack on the integrity of the message and also EVAS dropping that cannot be done on this application. So when I say confidently that why these all um, all attacks not possible because we have used a lot of techniques like user authentication, encryption, decryption, uh, hashing techniques and also use uh, made sure we uh, when you are sending a message uh, we have a digital signature associated with each user. So it's almost impossible for anyone to just impersonate the user and send a message. And more than that, you first have to authenticate with our application. So when I say authentication, it means the username and password, right? So without username and password, you cannot send any message. So yeah, let's um, let's go through uh, how this is works. So let's assume um, I have uh, my username and I want to send a message to my teammate Janvi. So what I have to do is uh, first I have to authenticate myself with the application. Now just for an example, I use a different username and password. Let's see what will happen. So yeah, you, as you can see, you cannot move to a to the next stage if you're not able to authenticate yourself. So it's extremely important that you should have a username and password which is valid. Okay, so let me now enter my username and password. See, now I can do that. Yeah, so if you select on the send message button, you will come to this page. Uh, welcome to cryptography. This is my inbox, it is my logout button and now I want to send a message to my teammate Janvi. So what I will do, I will select from the drop down menu, I will select Janvi and okay, I will send a message like, hi, hi Janvi, um, our, our cryptography, cryptography exam on 22nd of December 2015, I want to wish you uh, best of luck. And yeah, and you don't have to worry about cipher text and the hash of the message because that will be automatically transferred to Janvi. So how this application works is when you type a message and you type to whom you will send the message, you don't exactly send the plain text to Janvi. What Janvi will receive is a cipher text, is the hashed version um, of this of this message, and and the digital signature of my user that I will show in my backend. So you don't have to worry about sending cipher takes or ha S SH3 ha hashed message. So now hit the su send message. So now this message is sent. Uh, now I want to send one more message to Janvi and I will select Janvi and hey Janvi, uh, uh, I need your help with my need your Need your help with uh, with my crypto with my with my assignment. My assignment. Are you free right now? So yeah, hit the send send message button. So now I have sent two message and one message which I already sent. So yeah, this is the this is how you I will send the message. So now let's assume that now let's uh, log out and let Janvi open her message box. Janvi. So as you can see that these are some of the message which Janvi has received, uh, and you can see that um, uh, my the sender is Rakesh and. The message is hi Janvi, our cryptography exam on this, and this is the timestamp of each message. So this is the public key associated with each mes each message. Uh, the reason why Janvi is able to see the message 
properly because nobody has uh, nobody has uh, touched this message and nobody has tried to um, try to alter this message and do any kind of an attack okay so uh, on the receiver side what will happen is Janvi will res receive the cipher text of this message and the signature and the hashed version what Janvi will do it will try to decrypt the message once she is able to decrypt properly she will receive the plain text now she will uh, uh, calculate the hash of that plain text and that hash will be matched with the signature and also the public key so as you can see each message is also has a public key attached with it okay so now if Janvi is able to make sure that that the message the hash version of the message is equal the next step is uh, she will check whether this public key belongs to Rakesh if this public key belongs to Rakesh then only she can see this message otherwise she will not be able to see this message so yeah and okay let me let me uh, send one more message to Janvi so uh, let me go to login let me go to Janvi okay hey Janvi please check please reply to my please uh, reply to my message and just send it and now let's go to Janvi again again you can see a new message has arrived in the Janvi's inbox now what I'm going to do let's assume a third a third person without a third person tries to modify my message let's see what will happen so let's go to the back end and let's assume that any third party any third person is able to access our back end and tries to change the message so let's do that suppose uh, uh, somebody tries to change this particular message so hi John we please reply to my message and call me so now and this is my number three two four three five so somebody is able to access my backend of the application and try to change the message now let's see what is the what what John we will receive now so let's again go back to the application and see what John we will receive hey now Janvi is getting like my message is corrupted because because um, because the hash of my earlier plain tag plain text is now not matching uh, with the present present plain text because somebody has tried to uh, change change the original message so it's almost impossible for anyone to attack our application and change the message because lot of lot of encryption decryption hashing techniques we are using and okay let's let's go to the back end and see how how this how this process is working so let's go to the back end so when you go to the message see each message is associated with a public key so if you go to the message for example uh, the first message which I had sent for example hi John we I need your help with the assignment are you free right now so what John will receive is not this plain text John will receive the encrypted version of this and the hash of that particular message and then she will try to decrypt it okay and um, in terms of our logic if you want to see this is the main logic uh, which we are using in our application so you can see that the hash will be checked with the uh, with the plain text hash and uh, we will check the original message with the uh, previous uh, message so it's not possible for anyone to attack here 
and some of the uh, some of the modules some of the technologies which we have used to build this application is python django we have used crypto modules uh, like uh, base64 hashlib uh, we have used aes which is our encryption block cipher and also we have used crypto module in python in terms of our database uh, we have used a postgres database for doing the user authentication and this database is um, is on cloud right now so and this database is extremely difficult to uh, for anyone to just go and access it because aws cloud cloud security is extremely high so it's not possible for anyone to attack the database also uh yeah so uh, let's go back to our message and uh, uh, let's see what i was telling you about my uh, signature so one of the one of the problem with uh, with the public with the with sending the message is how will you verify that the message is coming from an authentic users so what we have used is we have used a um, we have used a digital signature and each digital signature and each message is associated with a uh, public key and a digital key so what the user will do when he is successfully able to decrypt the message in the receiver side then he will check uh, he will check with the database that this public key belongs to a particular user for example you can see that this particular public key is associated with rakesh okay so using using this this uh, digital certificate uh, janvi is also able to verify that the user is authentic and is not someone who is impersonating rakesh so this is our application and in terms of um, if you want to know about how each functionality is working and you want to see our code and you want to check how everything is working so our code is uh, you can go to our github repository and you can go to secure message you can see our whole code and we have described each step how each each process is working in our application and how how we have used all the different modules in our application so you can see our whole documentation it's it's pretty elaborate and each step is perfectly elaborated and we have an additional information for ta and if you want to execute our uh, our application on your on your computer you have to follow each step and it is and these are all the dependencies which we have used in our application and how to run this application it's perfectly described in each step here so you can also do that and if you face any kind of a problem just shoot a mail and i will reply back thank you so much uh